Hello everyone and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Sofia. Nice to meet you. <laughs> And today we are doing a 48 hour weekend spooky readathon thingy. The girls and I have this planned for a while. A lot of you are joining over on Instagram, which made me really excited. And we just wanted to have a weekend where we only read and read and read. And that's what we want. So I'm actually filming the intro 12 and a half hours into the readathon because it started at midnight but i was too tired but let me show you what i'm planning to read so the first book i was reading skin of the curse i am oh that's upside down i am 50 pages into it and i was really really enjoying it it's not my main priority though for the readathon but if i can make a dent in this book i will love it then my two main priorities is devil makes by Tori Bovolino, Bovolino, which all of us, like um, M, Bisma, Sara, I don't think, I don't know if Sara is reading it, um, but Bisma, Lucy, um, M, and I are gonna read it all together in this readathon, so that's gonna be really cool because we can talk about it and like chat and body read it. I haven't even started it and it's 12 hours into the readathon and I haven't read anything. I'm sorry, I'm busy, I'm super busy. But yeah, I wanna start it right now after filming this clip and I think we're doing private sprints in a bit. It's about like a demon that comes out of a book and the demon wants to ruin their main character's lives and the main characters hate each other i don't know it, it does sound really good i'll tell you more about it later and then the other th book that i want to read is through the goods by emily S. carl which is a graphic novel that combines five short and spooky stories i think i'm gonna really like it so maybe i will start reading one of the short stories and then i'll move to devil's make three but yeah, those are the plans for the readathon. It's really cozy outside. It's finally cold. I think it's gonna rain later today, which which puts me even more in a reading mood. Um, and yeah, if you're joining the readathon, tell me down below what you want to read or what your TBRs are for the readathon. Yeah, let's let's get reading. The other day, I was like, I hate Notion. I want to know how to use it, but it's so complicated. And two days later, I have like a a whole Notion page that I did by myself. But I wanted to show you because I did one for the readathon. Here we go. Yes. Let's see if it, it's not. Yeah, I made one for the readathon. Pages read. Zero. I hate filming on my room because it's always, I don't know, the lighting is just terrible. It is 10 p.m. on a Saturday and I haven't updated you so I thought talking to you for a bit. And I've been reading The Devil's Make 3 the whole day and I'm only on page 127. I haven't read a lot, I wasn't really feeling it. My attention spam also was really short today i keep getting dis distracted and i couldn't really concentrate so i decided to get all the things i had to do uh, for the weekend done so tomorrow i have literally nothing to do i just have to read um so maybe i will make a big of a, a bigger dent in this book tomorrow but so far it's really good so we follow Tess and Elliot which are completely different people one of them is rich the other one is having financial problems but they both are in this really prestigious school their fates kind of meet when they try to take a book out of the library and a demon escapes from that book and now is hunting Tess life and Elliot is the only one that can help her also the one that got her in this mess it's really sad i didn't thought it was going to be that emotional but the vibes are amazing it's just maybe a bit slow on the beginning for what i normally like that's why it took me a little while to get into it but i i do appreciate this book and then i also read a few stories of through the goods i think i read three out of the five of them 
I really like them. I didn't know they were going to be open-ended stories, so none of them have like a clear ending. I wasn't really happy with it, but now I get the point of leaving them open-ending. The art is super cool. It's actually really, really creepy if you think about it. And I think the stories have a deeper meaning. Hi, so it is a Sunday morning. It is 11 p.m. right now. First, I got a package. <laughs> it's not a perk, but it is bookish, so... Post-its. <laughs> I'm sure I have one pack left somewhere, but I couldn't find it. And I had to use these old ones that I had, but I don't have jello, which is for quotes. And it's the one that I use the most. So I got these 20 piece <laughs> one from Amazon. It was only 12 um, euros, so I'll link it down below if you want to get it. Yeah, you have to film a How I Annotate video. You always ask me for it. I'll, I'll do it soon. I, I'm telling you. But yeah, it comes with spike ones and normal ones, which I don't really mind, but yes. Reading update. <laughs> I ended up reaching page 160, I think, yesterday at night before going to sleep because I had a, a headache. I got to page 210 and it's... For me, it's being really slow. Nothing much has happened yet, but I'm really invested into how they are gonna get rid of this demon and how Elliot and Tess like their relationship is gonna evolve. Romantically, there has been an approach from one of them to the other, but it was out of nowhere. I like the chemistry wasn't that great for me to think that that was gonna happen, but it happened anyway. I also finished Through the Goods and I adored it. It's creepy, it's short, it's just everything I thought it would be. And my favorite story has to be, if you have read it, is His Face is All Red. I think that one, my favorite out of the five. Uh, so now I'm gonna try to reach page 300 of The Devil's Mix 3 and maybe start to read King of the Cursed uh, again now that I have tabs. And also I want to update my reading journal. Did I show you? Yes, I think I showed that I made a page for the readathon. But yes, that's all I want to do, so I'm gonna continue reading. Why is this couple as dry as a desert? <laughs> they have no chemistry at all. They're just going through a traumatic event together. Am I disappointed? A little bit, I'm gonna be honest. Did I do my hair because I was having a mental breakdown? Maybe, just maybe. Look at my room. It's a mess and all I wanted to describe, but I wanted to say this book is quite boring. <laughs> Emma, Emma sent me an audio message say, saying, I only have 80 pages left, nothing has happened. Like, nothing has happened yet. What the hell? I just finished The Devil's Mix 3 and it totally wasn't what I was expecting. It was quite bland. I really love the spookiest scenes even though they weren't that many and they weren't that spooky but i really liked that part of it as well as the library setting but towards the end you could see that the characters had no chemistry <laughs> like zero chemistry they were as dry as a desert and it was quite boring so the last 30 pages i will say i just skimmed through them uh, so i didn't really read it but i didn't want to dnf it because i only had like 40 pages left so i just kept reading um I think I'm gonna give it three stars or maybe 2.5. It depends on what it looks like. I did like the characters and I thought they could have had bigger like character development because both of them, the stories and backgrounds were really sad and they could have done for a lot of character development but there was a none and I don't think this is a series even if it has kind of an open ending. If it's a series, maybe three stars. If it's a... A standalone, I'll give it 2.75.
Now, M and Bisma and I are doing live sprints on my channel and we want to finish King of the Cursed. <laughs> are we like 20 pages in into it? Yes, but we are gonna try to finish it like last time we did live sprints, we finished Kingdom of the Wicked. I need to go super like tell you this super fast but we are on reading sprints and I was texting M because we are both reading the same book and <laughs> at one point we were talking about how much we were liking the book and how much we were liking the experience of reading it together and I sent her a message because I wrote a note in my book because I'm at a night annotating it and that said, I am so grateful for books for friends, the awesome experience of reading it with them, the happiness it's bringing me in such a dark time, legit, I started crying. She sent me a picture with except some note, like she wrote the except, the same, same note. I just... Look at the time. <laughs> the chat is concerned for us. The freaking corny cello is back. Corny cello. Can you focus, camera? Thank you. Well, it's it just says corny cello. Okay, you cannot see it. You wanna say anything to the blog? <laughs> Hi vlog. How are you vlog? There's 30 minutes left of the readathon, and we are not reading. <laughs> What did we do, Bibima? We spent all afternoon on sprints since 5 yes, p.m. We did. Yes, we did. Yeah. And Emma and I finished Devil's Mix 3 that you know, mm -hmm. Bisma read. Um, how was it called? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say the sun is also a star. She who became the sun. She who became the sun. That's what I was looking for. And then we also read about 100 pages of King of Scars. It's 20 minutes till midnight, but I'm really, really tired and I have class tomorrow. Yeah. But I will spend the vlog a little bit so I can finish this and you can see my reactions. We had a blast on the sprints though. They were one of the funniest sprints ever. Yes, and everybody who joined was so fun, you know? Yes. And I hate Bismo. She knows why I hate her. <coughs> Yeah. She's flexing her new camera. Which <laughs> Look at her flex. <laughs> Look at it. G7X Max. She is a blogger now. I love you, Bisma. <laughs> Bisma is the best bitch ever. Are you filming? <laughs> yes, but you're in my headphones. Damn it. But no. Hi. Wait, Hi. wait, wait, wait. Let me grade a note. <laughs> okay. Is it gonna focus on it? Focus. <gasps> it did focus. I'm gonna <laughs> stick this on my book just to remember. It's been a few days since I talked to you. It's been pretty hectic. The readathon was so much fun. We read a lot. I was just, I really needed that weekend of just reading. And I had, as I said, a lot of fun. But there was one book that I couldn't finish, and that was King of the Cursed. Currently, I'm on page 352, I think. Yes, so I don't have much to go. And I am loving it. This series might be one of the biggest surprises of 2021. I didn't expect to like it this much. I just adore it. I'm having such a great time reading it, annotating it. I love the characters. Even if there's nothing happening, there's nothing happening. Okay, let me talk, tell you about that. Nothing is happening in the book, but I'm still so engaged because I want to know like, I just want to know everything, um, and they are telling us nothing, and I think I know the plot twist. I have a lot, a lot of theories that so far seem really spot on, and I think my main theory is going to be right, and I hope they tell us in the end of the book, because I'm, I'm just really, really intrigued about it. I finished Kingdom of Curse. 
and I feel empty inside. How? 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 I cannot wait a year for the. Can I have the last book? Like, please, Gary Maniscal, if you're watching this, give me that book. I know it probably isn't even written yet, but please, please, please. Hello, I ask you to please ignore my makeup less eyes because I have an eye infection and I cannot wear makeup. I feel empty inside. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Waiting another year, the ending of the book is just, it leaves you there in the middle of nowhere. All you want to do is answers and this gives you no answer. It was super fun to read. This is really a hidden gem from 2021. I was, I literally, when I saw the first one, King of the Weekend, I was like, I'm not gonna like it. And look at me, two blocks in a row that I read King of the Weekend. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give it four stars. It was super enjoyable. I had a great time, but there's one chapter in between, chapter 17, I think it is. I was completely disgusted. I wanna I wanted to throw the book. No matter how the author tried to justify the actions in that chapter, I just couldn't. It felt wrong. It just, it was terrible, disgusting. I was thinking of DNFing, but I just decided that my, my mind is gonna erase that chapter and that chapter never existed. If you have read it, I think you know what chapter it is. Cause no, I'm sorry, Kirim and Iskalko, but that chapter wasn't it. For the rest, I had a blast. I annotated it a lot, and I do recommend this series. Don't expect, don't go into it with high expectations, but it's really enjoyable. It's, and that's gonna be it for the 48 hours readathon. Of course, these I didn't read in 48 hours, but I did read Devil Makes Theory and Through the Grids. Um, I'm pretty happy with my reading this week. Yeah, I have nothing else to tell you. If you want to read anything in this blog, read this too, this one, you can skip. Next week I have two videos uploaded. This week I couldn't really post twice because of the eye infection thing. I don't think you wanted to see a video with my eyes like painfully red. So I will try to upload two videos or maybe three next week to make up for it. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. If you want to stay connected with me, I have a Goodreads, I have a bookstagram, I have an Etsy shop where I sell bookish stuff. That's pretty much it. As always, I hope you love it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!